And welcome back, everybody. And now joining us is uh, Glenn Fowles, head coach for the Willamette Bearcats. And Coach Fowles, two and a you can't ask for a better start than that from a win-loss perspective. Uh, just looking at the, uh, the stats, just because that's the kind of thing we do, uh, is uh, you're leading, like, on all the stats offensively in the Northwest Conference. Does that uh, surprise you a little bit if you were to look back and, and say, hey, boy, after two weeks we're going to be leading the league in all of these offensive categories? You know, it's uh, it's it's one of those that anytime you're leading the league in any again Northwest Conference is so good, you know it's it's great to lead the conference in certain things and and nobody would expected it but you know it, it's one of those that um, our first game we came out and put up a ton of yards put up a ton of points so so as you look at uh, at what happens is is it's going to balance out over time and and it, it's great that we're leading uh, you know again you said that two and zero that's the most important stat that we have. Um, but we had an idea that offensively there were some things that we could do and can change, throw the ball a little bit more, still be effective running the ball that uh, that would, would kind of give some people problems. So so it's great to be there. Uh, but, again, most importantly, uh, you know, being 2-0 and is is uh, is an awesome deal. Yeah, I know as a coaching staff you're looking possession by possession and uh, just trying to get the ball in the end zone and get the W yeah. there. What, what, whatever the numbers end up at the end of the game is what they end up with, right? Absolutely. It's, it's one of those that, you know, it's uh, – you know, you, you play you play the game to win the game, and uh, you know the statistic part of it. That's uh, really that's that's you guys. You guys get to take care of that. We just get to take care of the win and go home happy. There you go. So start out uh, thirty-five to three against East mm -hmm. Te East Texas Baptist, and then uh, they come storming back. And I just uh, had this voice in the back of my head of a Glenn Fowles saying earlier in the week. You know what? East Texas is an athletic good ball club and I know you were saying don't fall asleep on these guys because they can't come back they made it a ball game absolutely they did and you know that's what good teams do um when uh when teams you know make mistakes uh you know we we classify as some of the mistakes we made as unforced errors uh so th that's really within our control when you make those mistakes against a good team uh, they should come back and, and that's what they are they're athletic they're good it's it's one of those that that uh, I would have expected them to come back um and you know we kind of shot ourselves in the foot, um, but had the ability late in the game. You know, the, the third quarter I thought was just a debacle um, and that we got to fix some things there. And, again, it's, it's, it's unforced errors that they took advantage of. And then we go into the fourth quarter and, and really wanted to slow the pace down and, and get some points. And, uh, you know, I think we controlled the ball in the, in the fourth quarter for about 11 minutes or something. And that was important to us to, to get our defense off the field and, and try to take care of some issues that, uh, that we had. But, yeah, I, I think the third quarter was tough, unforced errors. Those guys are good. They took advantage of our mistakes. They battled back. And, you know, we, we faced adversity again. Um, but – in the end, we're able to battle through that. So it, it's something that it, it's great to learn from a win is what I would tell you. It's great to learn from a win. A couple of possessions I wanted to ask you about or get your comments on. The first one was, I believe, is like the third uh, uh, possession of the game, and you're faced with a fourth down and seven right over here, yeah. and you end up hitting a 27-yard pass to, to set up the first touchdown. What, what a big play that was to, uh, to Jake Turner uh, on that one. And then the, the second uh, drive was, the last one that ended up in points and made it a 38-24 uh, ball game there at the end because it was a time-consuming drive, uh, a lot of plays that eaten up on those. How important were those two drives for you? And first of all, talk about that that call to go for it on fourth and uh, and seven there on your third possession. Well, and I'll tell you what, the fourth and seven call that for me was was uh, was almost a no-brainer. We did the same thing at uh, at Hardin Simmons. It was fourth and six. It was for the touchdown to Benny um, on the fourth and seven. Just because of field position, it was one of those things that, uh, you know, you punt it away, you try to pin them deep, but where we were on the field, it, it, it's hard to pin them inside the 10. It, you're more than likely going to uh, kick it through the end zone. It goes back to the 20. And, and uh, you know, for me, my thought process is that for about a 12 to 17-yard field position battle, which is what we'd like to do, we might as well try to get the first down and see what happens. And, and, and we, we, we can, uh, you know, we converted it. So, so that was huge for us. We went, went in there and scored. It was awesome. Um, I don't think because our pace is so fast that our guys even realize it was fourth down, so they didn't even have time to get excited about it and go, holy, it's fourth down, let's go. But, uh, you know, our quarterback knew it. Uh, he threw a strike. Great play to Jake. And, and, and so that one was easy for us. And then later that drive that consumed the clock and we get down inside the five, I think we ended um, right about the three-yard line. For us, we, we wanted to get points on the board, so it was two full scores, you know, two full scores to, to put the game away. We knew that they'd have to come up and throw. And what's really interesting is, you know, Dom made that pick down um, – inside the five for us in practice that week we actually pra we practiced that situation where they 
pick the ball, they take a knee, and we go in and, and, and win the ball game. So it was, it was really fortunate. We practiced that on the, uh, the Wednesday the week prior, and it actually happened. So he did it exactly the way we practiced it. So it was, uh, was kind of good. Those two, uh, those two possessions, critical, getting points, taking time off the clock, and fourth and seven, set up the first score. Um, you know, those were absolutely critical uh, spots in the ball game, I think. Well, the Bearcats now are done with the state of Texas for this year, and, and now you get ready for uh, the Northwest Conference, although not a Northwest Conference game with Pacific uh, coming into McCulloch Stadium. Uh, they're with a quarterback. Their starting quarterback gets hurt, but P.J. Manaya, who, <laughs> who's played a lot, is in there. They're coming off a, a win down at Occidental that, uh, I mean, that's not an easy, easy place to win, and uh, they kind of got beat up in their first game, but they come back with a big win against Occidental. What do you expect from the Tigers this weekend? You know, it's it's uh, it's one of the boxers. Uh, boxers. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I had East Texas Baptist yeah. Tigers on my mind here. <laughs> you know, we, we forgot about the ETBU till next year. We're moving on to these guys. Um, you know, that quarterback situation there, uh, you know, the guy that they brought in, um, you know, he played every game anyway, and he runs a little bit better. He's a good athlete. Uh, they don't change a lot as far as production they just do it a little bit different they also lost, lost a receiver um who's out for the season broke his leg i think in the occidental game their leading receiver uh you know so uh, we're gonna expect uh the quarterback to come out and stress us a little differently um he runs around a little bit more um those guys are gonna be ready to play you know they went down to oxy they they had a big win down in la which which is huge for those guys um i would expect keith's got their team humming ready to come in and just really compete like crazy they're better than they have been um you know they get keep getting better every year so i think it's going to be a barn burner on saturday it's going to be a, a great game with their kids ready to play and and our kids looking you know to our second home game of four so i, I i'm really excited about the game it's the bearcat and the boxers and northwest non-conference game of full access sports.com for glenn fowles i'm craig spivey thanks for joining us everybody on full access sports.com <laughs>